In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a little bug that I found with the new GPU-based Delta Keyer that's found in DaVinci Resolve 16. This little video clip, I'm going to take some video of me in front of a green screen, bring this into Fusion, and then I'm going to add a Delta Keyer. At least I think I'm going to. I don't remember what happened here. But we bring in the delta here, select a background color, then we turn on the alpha slider so that we can adjust the tolerance of the keyer to get the best key out of this. Pardon the pop-ups not working with OBS for some reason. So we bring the, the gamma all the way up, and this will highlight the background, anything that isn't completely dark. If we then go and move the threshold, we can make that completely black. Move the slider to the other end, and we can bring the threshold down so that I'm entirely or mostly white in the alpha channel. Come back to the regular color view, and we actually have a pretty decent key. This is a pretty well-lit screen, so this is actually pretty easy to key. The problem is I left sharpening on when I filmed this, so I need to erode the key just a little bit. But if I change the erode slider even the slightest amount and hit play, the image becomes very, very weird with what appear to be either the dark or the light parts made completely white. If we go over here and disable the GPU, however, adjust the erode to something non-zero, and play, it actually works fine. Um, doesn't play in real time with the CPU renderer, but it at least is correct. So, did a little interesting experiment here. The erode dilate slider causes this problem. Um, wanted to try a few of these other settings to see if they cause problems. It's clear that when it's back at zero, there is nothing wrong. If I blur the key, the mat, nothing happens. But if I change this restore fringe slider, even slightly, I get the corrupted image. Um, and again, this is easy to work around, but either of these two settings don't seem to work with my configuration.